stay on scene with Team Neutrino. Today we'll be learning more about chemical reactions that will later make our gum warm stance. For today's activity you'll need vinegar, baking soda, a pair of scissors, a spoon, a glass with a, bit, a little bit of water, an empty glass, and it's preferably clear, and gummy worms or I'm using gummy snakes. Let's get started. We're going to start by cutting the gummy worms in half using a pair of scissors. Make sure you have an adult do this step for you because it can get a bit tricky. So after cutting a few more gummy worms, you're going to soak them in um, just enough water and then you're going to add a few spoonfuls of baking soda. So I'm just going to mix them and then let them sit for about half an hour. Okay, now that you have let the gummy worms soak for about 30 minutes, you're going to pour some vinegar into the other glass. Now we're going to drop the gummy worms one at a time and see them as they dance. The reason the gummy worms dance is because of the chemical reaction between baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, and vinegar, weak acidic acid. It produces carbon dioxide gas, which sticks to parts of your gummy worms and in result helps those parts flow. Thank you so much for joining us on today's episode of Stay at Home Scene. Don't forget to tag us on social media at FRC Neutrino and use the hashtag Stay at Home Scene for a chance to be featured in our stories. Goodbye!